today we're talking pleated skirts, a very feminine style of skirt, a style of skirt that I know many of you do have in your wardrobes and love to wear. But equally, I know a lot of you like the idea of a pleated skirt, but you're not quite sure whether you can wear it. So being Wednesday, as always, I'm going to give my pleated skirt a good wardrobe workout, bringing you some looks to inspire you for those who already own one. But most importantly, I'm also going to talk you through the features of a pleated skirt that are going to make one work for you or not. Probably one of the most important features, in fact, I'd say the most important features of a pleated skirt is the waistband. It's actually the most important feature probably for most skirts in your wardrobe. So I posted a few days ago on my feed about just um, mat, uh, midi skirts in general and how important it was, regardless of your shape, regardless of your age or your height or your size, to make sure that you wear a skirt on your natural waist. Now I've just put this very slim fitting skivvy on so that you can see where my waist is. So I'm tall, I've got a very long torso, but if I run my fingers down here, all of a sudden, yep, that's where my waist is. So it doesn't matter whether you're big busted, small busted, short waisted, long waist. If you run your hands down your torso, you will get to a point where you can feel your waist, whether it's small, whether it's not small, but it is there. And this is where you need to make sure that you wear your uh, pleated skirt. Secondly, most important, we've got it sitting in the right spot. What is going to be more flattering is making sure that your pleated skirt has a nice flat waistband. So this, I know it's hard to see because it's got a pattern, but this has probably got an almost a one inch waistband built in. And then the pleats start below the waistband. Now what you want the waistband for is so that it gives you a nice flattening effect. We don't necessarily want the pleats starting right on the tummy, so at the top of the at the top of the skirt basically. The wider the waistband, the more slimming and the more flattering that's going to be for you. So this is quite a narrow waistband. I'll show you a couple of other skirts later that have a slightly wider waistband that I feel personally more flattering on me and maybe a little bit more comfortable as well. So we want to make sure the skirt sits up on the waist. We want to make sure that the, the skirt has a nice flat waistband and then the pleats start. But in terms of how the pleats start, that's another thing to consider. So you can see if I step back, this is a very full pleated skirt. It's very obvious that the pleats are at the bottom. However, the pleats really don't start to take effect until a little bit further down the skirt. So essentially when the skirt is on my waist, it's still quite flat through here because the pleating is uh, sort of splayed out, I suppose. It's not heavily pleated. And this is the reason a lot of you don't like the idea or think you don't, you can't wear a pleated skirt is because you think the pleats are going to make you look wider through here. Fabrication is also really important. Most pleated skirts we made out of a silk or a polyester or some sort of soft fluid fabric where the weight falls to the bottom of the skirt. So essentially what's happened with this skirt is that the pleats are still in the bottom but the weight of the skirt basically drops out the pleats on my tummy, making it a lot more flattering. The other thing to consider while I've got this pleated skirt on is if you're someone who likes the idea of a pleated skirt, but you do carry your weight through your tummy. And I have to have, I have to be, I'm gonna be honest here guys, I have to be having a really good tummy day to be wearing this particular skirt. It's very fitted and probably, you know, during last few months, um, you know, maybe I'm just carrying a little bit of extra ISO weight, but I have to be having a good tummy day. Otherwise I do feel that the skirt can sort of pop like that. I'm not gonna lie. But in terms of, um, why I think this skirt works for me even if I am having a tummy day is the print. Remember guys, prints are a great disguise. They're a great camouflage. They keep the eye moving. They don't necessarily focus the eye on one particular area. So if you like the idea of a pleated skirt, maybe go for something with a print, an animal print, snake skin, geometric print. It doesn't really matter. I don't actually have any plain 
pleated skirts. I'll show you those in a moment. So if you like the idea of a, an animal print, they're still very versatile. And this is the one I'm going to use, you, use for you to put together all my looks in a moment. Before I do some styling of my traditional pleated skirt, I wanted to quickly show you some variations of pleated skirts, ones that I already had in my wardrobe. And I think this is a really good demonstration of it's still a pleated skirt, it's still a full, fluid, lovely feminine skirt, but the pleating positioning and the pleating size is actually quite different. So this is an old one from Elk. It's still got the lovely waistband, it's also got nice bit of generous um, elastic in the back which is wonderful but as you can see the pleats are placed quite differently and very specifically so there is no pleat on the tummy the pleats start here and here so nothing is here so what it does is it creates this lovely flattening effect then there are pleats here there is no pleat on the hip so on either hip that is flat and then the pleats start again at the back. So this is a great style if you are someone who feels like the full pleated skirt just creates this excess volume around here and you just can't get it right. You can keep your eye out for a style where the pleats don't go all the way around, that they are very strategically placed, not on the hips and not on the tummy. And another style of pleated skirt I had in my wardrobe, which is this old one from Dion Lee, as you can see, the pleats actually start a lot lower on the body. So the skirt still fits where it should be on the waist, but instead of the pleats starting on the stomach, they basically start under the stomach. So this is giving me a nice structure. It gives a nice flattening effect, a nice fitted, tailored look around the hips, the tummy, and the waistline and then the pleats start a little bit lower. So again, it's just a different variation of a pleated skirt but still has the same effect. Okay, I think I'm ready to put my, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, the one that I'm going to feature is an old Camilla and Mark one. Nothing is new, I actually don't have, this is the closest I have to a plain coloured pleated skirt. I do like the idea of a metallic, I do like those faux leather ones that are around. I don't know whether I need to add another one to my wardrobe, but let's see after this. Okay, let's do it. versatile wardrobe item. It can be worn casually with your sneakers, you can dress it up for work, you can wear it on a girl's night out, 
you can layer it up for winter. It's really versatile. But before we finish, I know a few of you will be asking about tucking in. So I've got a couple of things to finish up on. So tucking in can be problematic, particularly if you do carry your weight around the tummy. And I know a lot of you don't like doing the full tuck but there are a few things you can do. So I've put on a more relaxed t-shirt, something with a little bit more fabric to show you that if you don't like that full fitted tucked in look, then if you wear something looser, like a looser t-shirt or a silky soft blouse and you just pull it out a little bit, gently, gently, and you let the fabric drape over the stomach. So we still get that nice line. We don't want to over uh, pull it out too much and then we sort of defeat the purpose of creating a shape through the waist but you can blouse it out over the tummy which is really flattering another thing you can do if you don't like the full tuck is you can do the half tuck which I'm sure you're all familiar with so all you need to do again the top obviously needs to be a little bit more relaxed in style but you simply tuck the front in and then you let the back drape over the, the bum. So what that does is it still draws the eye up to the point we want it to be drawn to, which is the waist, but without causing this harsh horizontal line. So we've got our eye goes up to here, but then it softens a little bit. That's a really flattering look as well. Equally, you can do something similar. We'll pull it out just that little bit more if you want to cover more of the tummy, but still get some definition at the waist and do the side front tuck. So now we've got the eye drawn up to one point. We want the eye drawn to the narrowest point somehow, guys. It doesn't have to be the full Monty, so to speak. But if you do the front half tuck, the front side half tuck, then you get that lovely draping over the tummy. A little bit more coverage, but you still get the nice effect of the eye drawn right up to the waist. And finally, let's talk about length. Now I know a lot of you think that just because you're petite, you're not tall like me, that you can't do this length. Now a pleated skirt doesn't have to be a midi length, there are plenty of knee length options around, but a lot of them are this midi length, which falls pretty much between the knee and the ankle, so on the calf. Now if you're someone who's got a very strong calf, it can be problematic if we're cutting you off at that widest point. So I, even with mine, you can see mine is actually under my calf. However, the most important thing with this length of skirt is where it sits on your waist. It can be a maxi skirt, a midi skirt, a knee length skirt, a mini skirt. As long as the skirt fits on your waist, sits on your natural waist, then regardless of your height, regardless of your shape, you can get away with any length you like. How good's that? All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed another wardrobe workout Wednesday. I actually might be able to wear this outfit out today. It's beautiful and sunny, and at least not today. In the next few days, it's going to get quite warm here in Melbourne. So I will see you soon.